Stop. I, you. I don't feel safe. I do not feel safe. Don't trap my f***ing personal unit. Some people are used to always getting what they want in life. When they're challenged by authority, they don't know how to handle it. Sometimes they make the worst possible decisions, especially when dealing with the police. Uh, All right, no. Get the off me, bro! Get Stop. off me! Stop. Get the f off me! Here are five times when super entitled brats think they're above the law. Jenny Rose Kezing Saunders in Scotch Plains, New Jersey on April 26, 2022. An expired license plate was scanned, and the officer attempted to perform a routine traffic stop on the vehicle. Unfortunately, it turned out to be anything but routine. An officer approached the window of the truck and discovered the driver was 38-year-old Jenny Rose Kessing Saunders, and she didn't like police officers. Ma'am, open the window. Don't worry, man. Officer Balls are Scott's place. Will you have your license registration insurance? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I, you, have I yeah. you have your license registration insurance? Yep, not a problem. Thank you. I need your license. Open the window, or I'm going to break the window and you'll be placed under arrest. Ignoring a police officer who's at your window has never worked out, but apparently, Jenny Rose thinks she's above the law. Let's see how this works out for her. Ma'am? 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 Your license, registration, and insurance. If you don't comply, I will break the window and you will be placed under arrest. Do you understand that? Ma'am. Open the window. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. This is where she makes her huge next mistake, and reality sinks in. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to call someone Good. to make sure that Step I'm safe. Step out of the vehicle. You are safe. Stop. I, I don't feel safe. I do not feel safe. Don't trap my arm. Safe. Don't trap my arm. Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, ma'am, right lower now. the window. You're going to hurt the officer. Lower your window. Ma'am, lower, lower the window. Lower your window with your other arm. Ma'am, lower, lower the window. your window with your other arm. Lower your window with your other arm. Is there a punch on this? No. And an additional unit. If Jenny Rose didn't know what assaulting a police officer was, she's about to find out the hard way. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Turn around. 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 How is there aggravated assault? Could you please tell me? When you, when the officer tells you to open the door and has to put his arm through the window, and then you call you. Why you, was his and arm then, going through my you're window? Under, I'm just pat her down real quick, Mister. Sure. Please, you want to touch that? No, 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 no. Why was his arm going? All right. You're right. You got it. Yeah. Pat her down real quick. Yeah. Search her now. Serious right now? Yeah, you're under arrest. Do you have a mother? Do you have a sister? We're past that already. You're under arrest for aggravated assault. He told you multiple times to lower your window, open the door, and then when he put that, put his arm through your window, and you raised the, intentionally raised the window, and then hurt this officer. Now you're under arrest for aggravated assault. And plus, you are accusing me of something I did not do. You're not. You're, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. Bring him to the back over here. As she's led to the back seat of the cruiser, she's still in disbelief that the law applies to her. And she's got a lot more to say about it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are you guys serious? Right now? Step into the vehicle, um, watch your head. Yeah, so can I step into the vehicle and watch your head? Step into the vehicle and watch your head. Let me get the book on. Can you tell me what I'm arrested for? Aggravated assault. I need to hold on. Hey, 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 get hey, back, hey, in, get the back in the car. Back in get the back, car. back in the car. Come on. Four, four of you guys now, huh? Five, five of you guys. So you're not giving me any chance to retrieve my stuff or make sure my things are okay. 
Stay there. Why? You're not going to tell me why I was pulled over to begin with. Ma'am, watch your with. foot. Watch your foot. You explain everything. Just watch your foot. No, you're not. You're not explaining. She doesn't have nearly as much to say when she arrives at the precinct, but she still has no respect for the officers. She still thinks she's too privileged to have to obey orders. I'm going to take the handcuffs off. You're going to put both hands on the wall. Do you understand? Turn around, face the wall. Hand on the wall, please. Thank you. Can you move your jacket, please? Can you move your jacket? 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 Can you move your
control. Using a family member's cancer diagnosis to act like a brat is one of the lowest things you can do, and she's still holding her phone to her ear for no reason. Tiffany is clearly out of touch. Over at CVS. Yeah. So okay, listen, did this other off. blonde guy thing ever happen? Yeah, it did. Okay. I swear on life. You know, it looks kind of funny after this other person calls and then because this Because I thought she must be, wasn't yeah. being serious. I thought I right could apologize to her. And then she started saying stuff about your mom's yeah, cancer. Yeah, that's when I started walking home because she kicked me out of the car. And I don't blame her. I was being an so yeah, I would have kicked me out of the car too. And that's when I was walking and that blonde guy started harassing me and okay. touching me. What she hasn't told the officer yet is that she threw a soda on her friend. And that's why she called the police. <laughs> Alright, so you're being, from what you said, an <laughs> to Kelly. And then you threw a soda on her? I spilled my soda on her, not threw a soda on her. Just a minute ago you said you threw a soda I, at her. Not like I did this. So you poured a soda on her? Yeah, it's the same thing, same I don't want. She tries to shift the focus away from her behavior, and the situation gets ugly when the officer tries to explain the reality of it to her. And I got scared and ran into Stop the whining, guy. listen. I'm stop, not trying to stop whine. whine, I'm crying about I, my stop, mom right stop now. Stop about it, okay? Because just 10 minutes ago when you are with Kelly, you're Miss Badass pouring soda on her, and then now all of a sudden oh, you're I'm like crying. crying. Okay. It, it doesn't sound like it to you because it sounds dying. like it to me. She's about to learn another lesson. You can't walk away from an officer during an investigation. Well, right now she's going to wait. No, I'm gonna know. You're waiting right here. Do, I, do we have to like chase after you? Yeah. Yeah? I don't care. No, I don't care. You're, you're wait. You're going to wait right here. Do not you're push gonna me because I'll push you back. Do not walk this away make, again. This is gonna make it I don't care. Unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. Don't get off me again, me. That kick to the officer's face is called assault. Tiffany will soon be made aware of that. In a funny twist, the entitled brat starts crying for her daddy. Come on. Stand up. Daddy. Stand up. Daddy. Come on, stand up. Daddy. Daddy. Huh? Daddy, my arm is out of place. Anything on you're not supposed to have? No, why the f would I? You better stop. <laughs> I just wanted to Sit talk down. to my mom. Sit down. <laughs> do you want your stuff to go with you or do you want your stuff to go with your dad? I don't. <laughs> it's not a trick question. It's one or two things. You want why to go with you or you want to go with arrested? dad? You tried to kick me. I wanted you to get off me. I don't care. Did I was tell trying to, to stop? tell you Did it hurt. Tell you to stop? Did I didn't tell you to hear stop? you. I'm Bull sorry. Crap. No, I really didn't. Bull crap. I'm serious. Bull crap. Daddy. So am I. So am I. Your daddy ain't get you out of this. Do you want to keep your purse with you, or do you want it to go with yes, your dad? Yes, I want my. It's on you. No. Things are about to get worse for Tiffany when officers find her mother's prescription medication in her purse. Who is Catron Zabeth? Huh? That's mom. Why does she have her pills? Huh? Okay, so this is your wife's narcotics. Why does she have your wife's narcotics? Are you not understanding what I'm saying? This is not your wife, right? You say my my wife keeps all of our narcotics. I'm asking you, why does she have your wife's narcotics? Her father is given an opportunity to explain the situation without Tiffany interrupting with her craziness. Was there an actual guy that followed her or pushed her or anything else? Yes, I just 
I just got out of the hospital, so I can't run. Okay. So I would have been right on top of them. Okay. All right, I, was, I, I, I was that close to them, but I, like I said, my I have neuropathy. So what's her issue? Why has she all been out of shape over everything right now? She gets angry because Kelly decides to um, make, you know, my mother, my mother, my wife, when she came out of the uh, cancer place, uh -huh. right here, she's got a big new mass. Okay. And they, and, uh, you know, she, Kelly made a, uh, you know, remark to my wife that says, see what happens when you don't take care of yourself. Okay. You know, so it was a simple thing, but uh, my daughter has a tendency to anger up really quickly. You don't say? Yes. Tiffany arrives at the jail for booking and she seems to be calmed down. She'll have some time to reflect and understand that the laws apply to her too. She was charged with battery against a police officer. The 16-year-old suspect in our third case makes Tiffany's actions seem reasonable. Jasmine. We stay in Pasco County, Florida, where on July 25, 2023, officers were dispatched to a school after a suspended student refused to leave the premises. Officers quickly found out that she thought she was above the law. As the officer approaches the 16-year-old girl, she doesn't even feel the need to get off her phone to talk to the officer. That was a sign of things to come. Okay, where are you and trying to get her to? Will, I, I want her in Lippa's office. At this point now, she needs to go to the front office. All right. All right, I'm going to this is what I'm going to tell you, okay? You probably need to give the phone over to Corporal so he can talk to mom, or I can talk to mom. Either we go to the front office or they've already said, all right, they've already said you're suspended, so if you go in that building, I'm going to put you in up. Y'all are literally on me right now. That's a the scene quickly turns violent, and the girl shows just how entitled she thinks she is by assaulting the officer. Get the f off me, bro! Get Stop. off me! Stop! Get the f off me! Stop! Get the f off of me! It's taken the officer more than three minutes to get her in handcuffs. This might help explain the reason that she was suspended in the first place. Y'all are so unnecessary. Y'all are all in my That was unnecessary as I was walking the Now I have to put me on the ground, bitch. That's zero three seven. I got one to say. By the time the girl's mother arrived at the school, the damage had been done, and she was escorted to jail. You got your pair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off you. I'm going to put your hand on top of your head afterwards, okay? That way we can put different ones on. Pass go to SSG121. The officers were nice enough to take her handcuffs off so she could remove her bracelets. Surprisingly, her mother doesn't seem too concerned. you want to take your bracelets off and leave them with your mom, or do you want them to go with you? You want to take them? What about your necklace? Could they take it off? Yeah, they're going to make you take all that off. I'll give it to mom. You got some inklets? I can't take off them. Okay, I got you. You're not going to fall. Is that it? Yeah, that one can't come off. Those can't come off. You better shove your nose ring all the way up in there. What? If they take off the nose ring? They might. I don't know. They probably will make you take it off. Shove it in there. After being searched, she was put in the squad car and taken to the jail for processing. The girl was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer. The teen suspect in our next case used a weapon to assault police officers. 
Walter Witzke. An officer in Joliet, Illinois noticed a man throwing rocks at a patrol vehicle on February 16, 2023. When they approached him, he ran off, and officers were forced to track him down. They give a description to Harris employees and continue to search the building. They conclude he must be in the parking lot. Has there, has there been any like male that came in with a black puffy coat and pajama pants in the, like, the last five minutes? No. He would have came from the garage because he got in a foot pursuit and he ran through the garage. No, I was in the garage. Okay. Okay. If you see somebody that walks this way or whatever, somehow we miss it, you know, let us know. They quickly tracked him down and placed him under arrest. He was later identified as Walter Witzke. Walter immediately started apologizing, but it was too late. Look forward. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I just lost my dad. I'm losing my new one. I'm so excited. I'm Separate your feet. Separate your feet. Go ahead. Stop talking. Stop talking. Wait till we get done. I'm sorry, man. I really am. Okay, okay, stop talking. We'll talk to you later about it. Yeah, I can't do this, man. You're talking. You can breathe. What's your name? Walter tries to play the sympathy card as many criminals do, but the officers aren't buying the story. Observe it. I have been dealing with this for nine years and I have been at the lowest. I lost my job. I'm looking for a job. I'm about to lose my car because I can't afford my car payment for my insurance. And I was just in a bad mood, and I made a really stupid decision. Go ahead. I'm extremely sorry. Why am I making a really stupid decision? I made it because I let my mental health be so bad. I've been off my meds for months. Everybody's been begging me to get back on them. Yeah. I did it. I'm sorry. I told my mom and my girlfriend. I told them how bad. A transport vehicle arrives soon after the arrest, and Walter is taken to the local precinct for booking. He's got a sob story for the officer on the way. Sorry. I'll meet you guys back. Don't deal with some real criminals, man. This is I just, I, just, I just showed up, and I'm transporting you, man. I don't even know what's really going on. What right? happened is I'm having the worst day of my life. So I'm going to talk to you about that when we get down there, okay? I appreciate it, because right. I am so done, man. The only right. reason I'm even walking out here to downtown Juliet is I was going to the top of the parking garage to jump off and commit suicide. <laughs> and I let myself do some stupid shit and I know I never should have done it. Okay, I'll talk You're to you when we get down there. And I should have stopped. I have no record. I made one stupid mistake because my mental health. But oh, you guys don't believe it because mental health ain't real to the government. We didn't and that's say why that. We always get Nobody said that. Get to nobody but the people with dealing nobody with Nobody said that. Yeah, everybody says it. Everybody I, I have it. not said that. You don't know me, I don't know you. I guarantee you 90% of them do. After arriving at the station and being searched, Walter has read his rights and his charges are explained to him. Then he breaks down and apologizes to the officers again. That was the last time I had a brick thrown off my car. I'm so sorry, man. I don't even know why I would have done so stupid. Okay. Do you understand what's going to happen? You guys are ready for anything? Psych work? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you made statements that you want to kill yourself. Yes, I do. Okay, that's my arm. Okay, listen, Look, That's the only reason I'm even down here in downtown Joe. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Listen to me. You're going to get fingerprinted for three misdemeanor charges. It's not a big deal. Okay? And then you're going to get a court date for a future date later down the road, and then we'll get you to help you. Sound good? Will I be getting those misdemeanors even though my mental health? Yeah, you can argue that in court when it goes, but yeah, yes. you're going to get the charges. Yes. I will be able to fight those charges, though? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, absolutely. Yes. Well, you're in court, and, and, and we understand. Walter was charged with criminal damage to government property and two counts of obstructing a police officer. Walter is a choir boy compared to the Virginia woman in our final case. Brittany N. Greiner. In Normal, Illinois, on August 25, 2023, police were called to investigate a report of a drunk woman in a bikini roller skating down the sidewalk. 
deputies arrived on the scene and had no way of knowing the crazy situation that was about to unfold. Hello. I have a right to a phone call. I'm calling my, I'm calling Chris Goose right now. Okay. That's your cousin. Gotcha. That's Look my cousin. Back. He's like, he's, um, yeah. Okay. That you had found her and I literally, I literally her. just came from so. somebody from there to help them get to their place. Um, I got gotcha. you. She was with a male. Who she said was homeless. Didn't want to tell me yes, he was. He, he was homeless when I first met him. I know. Yes. Is he the one standing on the trail right here? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay. okay. He's homeless. What's yes. His name? You know? As far as I know, his name is not I can't remember exactly. Okay. I'm more. I'm more in contact with people that actually have a real well, address. Like, no, that makes sense. Oh. The officers are being extremely patient with Brittany as they've let her sit on the ground for more than two minutes. She's clearly extremely intoxicated and she has outstanding warrants for her arrest. But she's not going to appreciate any of that as we'll soon see. I don't think you can leave her in skate. Can you, can you at least roll on your side so you're not face down on the grass? No, I'm right here. I got I'm right here. I'm not even drunk. I'm literally laying right here. I am in the middle. Mulberry and Linden, if you wondering. What? Mulberry and Linden. Mulberry and Linden, apparently, but no, I am literally in the middle of the circle. Before long, she starts freaking out and becomes very violent towards the officers, who are left with no choice but to treat her accordingly by putting her in cuffs. Get the f away from me! You live on Rebecca Street. Get him the okay. way from me! Okay. Right, we're not going to do all that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's out okay. Stop! We're stop! Not stop! Start I'm running. not even doing anything. No, okay. Dad, stop! Go in handcuffs now. Okay. I'm not just sitting here. Please. Bring your, bring your leg in. Yeah. Stop! I'm not even moving. Please. You're fine. Just relax. Stop. Help me, Nick! Well, Nick! No, Nick! No, Nick! Stop. Nick! Stop! But no, tell me what I'm doing. Don't pull me up without telling me what I'm. Do it. Not moving. Stop. Okay. Oh, I didn't yeah, even know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't even know what I'm doing. Please tell me. Luckily, EMTs arrived on the scene. Brittany is acting like she may require medical attention. It could all just be a part of the show. Okay. So, if you like to go to the hospital, we can take you there. I told you. If you don't want to be checked out by a doctor. I told you my medical name. I told you my medical doctor! Call oh my dad, please. No. Please. No, yes, you have. No, I you... don't. Please call my dad to see what he wants to do, please. Brittany, you'll be able to call him once you get down there. To the jail. Okay. No, right now. Because well, you won't let me call him when I get to the jail. You guys will be a piece of oh. like you always are. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even fighting it, I'm being honest. She's determined to make life as hard for the officers and herself as possible by delaying her trip to the jail. <laughs> I'm trying to help. <laughs> Can you just please test the f resistance on Maggie so they go from there? I don't care how it takes, please. I'm just trying to go to my uncle's house. And I, and I want you to make those it's phone calls. Fell. He, he lives on Fell. I, know. <laughs> I just want you to make those phone calls. Once can you, have, can you just take me to Fell? If you thought that she might calm down by the time she got to the hospital, she didn't. She actually got much worse.
her behavior was so out of control that the officers had to put a spit mask over her head. You were being disrespectful. No, no I'm still not. Oh, uh, yes, you were. Uh, 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 All right, Brady. Uh, 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 It's hard to imagine what the doctor must be thinking as she attempts to examine Brittany and make sure she's not in any real danger. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be nice here. You're, you're doing good. We appreciate it. Uh, Brittany, can I ask you some questions? Uh, can I move this mask? Not yet. I can't see. I don't okay. like answering questions when they can't see. It gives me anxiety. Brittany, I'll make you a deal. If we can get smooth sailing out of here, we can take the mask off you. But if you spit again... I, I was not trying to spit in the okay. first place. Okay, okay, stop moving your hands from Sorry, there, sorry, sorry. Why do you think you're a drunk? Because I don't ever get emotional like this and it's supposed to be my birthday weekend and I'm nauseated. After being cleared by the doctor, she was finally going to be booked. But she made that as hard as possible as well. Brittany was charged with two counts of aggravated battery and two counts of resisting a peace officer. She was held on a $2,500 bond.